Hey everybody, Keith K here, and we are back in the South Pacific with Stranded Deep. And today we're going to take a look at one of the more frustrating aspects of the game, which is getting poisoned. Um, getting poisoned can be uh, a real bummer. First, you'll take some, some damage, uh, but then you'll also be poisoned. And if you don't do something about it, you'll die in a few days. And early in the game, uh, when you don't have a lot of resources, that can be pretty challenging. Um, once you start, you know, get a little further along, I always make sure I have a little medicine chest and I work to stock up on antidote, which is the way to cure poison. But before we get to that, uh, let's take a look at the different ways that you can get poisoned. So the first and, and probably the most common way, at least for me, because uh, I end up running across these all the time and stepping on them, is the Crown of Thorns Starfish. Uh, or as I like to call it, the Purple Bastard. <laughs> um, for some reason, I can't seem to avoid these. But uh, this is one of the types of ways you can get poisoned that you can't kill. Uh, the other two, which we'll look at, are the sea urchin and the sea snake. You, you can't get rid of this, it'll always be here. Um, I know some players will actually put, uh, sorry, wrong menu. They will go and put uh, one of the wood foundations over the top of this, just so that they avoid it if they've run into them repeatedly. Um, and uh, let's take a look at what happens when you get poisoned and then we'll go look at, at the other uh, ways that poison you. So if you run across this, you'll good. see you get the I don't feel so good. Um, and in this case, it's not accompanied really with any damage. Uh, if you get attacked by a snake, on the other hand, which is a way uh, that you can get poison that you can kill, you can certainly kill the snake. You will take uh, some damage and then get poisoned. So you'll see you have these bumps, these boils on your arm. If you check your status effects, you've got poisoning in, in effect. Uh, and if you don't cure this uh, poisoning in a couple of days, you will eventually die. So let's take a look at the rest of the ways you can get poisoned, and then we'll come back and take a look at what we can do about it. Another ways you can get poisoned uh, by a creature that you can't kill is the sea urchin here. If you get too close, these spikes will poison you. So we won't do that. Uh, they're a little less common than the purple uh, starfish. Another one is the sea snake here. You can't kill this guy, but let's get, let's antagonize him maybe. We can get him to bite us. There we go. I don't feel so good. All right, next up is the lionfish. And this is one of the animals that can poison you that you can kill. Now, if you get too close to this guy, he will poison you. But um, you can collect him, and you can skin him, and he'll give you one meat. Um, you can definitely do that and just eat him. Uh, but you can also use him for creating the shark repellent. Uh, we won't do that in this video, but uh, that would just be the one lionfish and the one antidote. All right, next up, we have the snake. And as you approach, he will coil up and give you a bit of a warning. Um, and this is one of the uh, things that will poison you. Let's go. Ah, doesn't look good. Uh, and he's not supposed to be a sea snake, but um, you can hunt them. You can kill them. The refined spear, it'll just take one hit. Uh, and then you'll get a small snake meat out of this that you can cook up and eat. Okay, so we've gotten poisoned. What are we going to do about it? The way to treat poisoning is under consumables, and we need to craft an antidote. What we need for that is one pippy plant and one coconut flask, which requires a whole coconut and a lashing. Now, my experience with the pippy plant is that it can be frustratingly difficult to find. It blends in with the grass quite a bit, and uh, there aren't a lot of them, and they aren't always on every island. At least I haven't seen that to be the case. So what I highly recommend is that when you get your first pippy plant, you create a farm so that you have a supply of them. And then you can start stockpiling them, right? So. As I collect pippy plants, uh, I keep them here until I uh, deplete my antidotes down. I always have at least four antidotes made, 
and then I'll start to just keep the plants in a crate here. But now that we've got our pippy plant, we'll come over to our storage area and we were, we're gonna craft a coconut flask. Uh, let's, yeah, we could use the, let's go ahead and drink the one serving of drink there. Now that we've got our coconut flask and our pippy plant, we can craft our antidote. And it actually will say antidote right on it. Okay, and as you can see, we've still got the poisoning in effect. Drink the antidote. And that's it. We're back to healthy. Skin's cleared up, and that's all there is to it. So again, I do highly recommend that you uh, plant, pippy plant, if you haven't um, seen my tutorial on farming, I'll link to that here. But then you'll have a supply of pippy that you won't run out to. You won't have to uh, run off to another island to try to find a pippy plant, hopefully, before you die. Uh, so get this set up. Start crafting antidotes until you have uh, some ready to go. And then, um, you know, you can start stockpiling them here. The other thing that I do highly recommend is that you keep them on your raft. Uh, if you've watched any of my videos before, you'll see that this raft has gotten a bit bigger. Uh, I'm just kind of playing around with some uh, some different configurations, and it, uh, I'll have more videos about that later. Uh, let's see, where do I have it? Yeah, I always bring at least a couple antidotes with me uh, when I go to a new island along with a few bandages. So that's going to do it for the video, folks. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this will help you, especially early on, uh, survive your poisonings because uh, they're going to happen sooner or later. Uh, if you uh, enjoyed the video, please like. Uh, it helps the channel for sure. And if you want to be notified when more of my videos come out, uh, just uh, go ahead and subscribe. It is very much appreciated. As always, thank you for watching and we'll see you back here soon.